Hey, how's it going everyone? Casel22 here on my channel called Kaz Tech. Today we're going to be looking at two applications you can get for your iPhone or iPod Touch. One is called Air Mouse, the other is called Touch Mouse. Air Mouse is $1.99 on the App Store. Touch Mouse is free. Touch Mouse made by Logitech, a very well-known device, gadget, mouse making company. And they have this app on the App Store you can pick up for free. So let's take a look at Touch Mouse here. And so both these um, applications operate through your Wi-Fi network. If your computer and your iPod Touch or iPhone are both connected to the same Wi-Fi network, then they should be able to work. So here you see Touch Mouse. It's moving a little slow, but nothing too bad. If you go into the settings here, you can adjust them. Just see that the tracking speed is down. you got to turn that all the way up because I had that down and it goes really slow and you see as you move it up it's a lot better so and that's the icon right there that means it's um, operating so here's touch mouse pretty basic it does have a keyboard open up safari with the quick tap open up the keyboard pops up very nicely just like your normal keyboard that you would have on your iPod touch or iPhone if you're sending a text or typing through the internet and whatnot have your number pad, turn key. So type this as a test. Now you don't have to have this like on your desk like I have it. I'm just doing that for the sake of the video here. So you see this is a test. It types it pretty well. Hit return. And boom, just like that. And you also have your, still have your area to scroll with your touch mouse here. So that's pretty much all there is to touch mouse. Um, pretty basic. does have two finger scrolling as well uh, if you need to use that at all. But it gets the job done for what it needs to do here. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the application called Air Mouse here. Air Mouse again is $1.99 on the App Store. Okay, so here's Air Mouse. Um, and you can change the different settings you have up here, different views. So you have touchpad, or you kind of have that clicker view, which would be used for more of like if you're doing a presentation or something like that. I prefer the touchpad here. And if you have, if you have a window open here, open up Safari. These little, these two little buttons here. If you hit them bring the window up and down so kind of like the expose there that the Mac has and the cool thing about this is you have different layouts you have your number pad pops up nice and big for you and you have your function keys so that's a pretty cool feature that this has and then you have this layout here where it recognizes I'm in an internet browser so it has like your search your forward and back refresh close buttons of course, Google's already my home page, so that just goes back to where it was. And you have a media button here for your music, stuff like that. It recognizes I hit the media button and it opened up my Hulu, which I didn't really need, but it's still a pretty cool feature. And then probably the cool thing here is you hit this home screen button and it recognizes all the applications that you have right there on your dock. So if you need to remotely open up any of the applications you have on your dock there, then you can go ahead and hit them. So if I want to open up Google Earth here, click that. Google Earth begins to load here. So you see for the $1.99 you get a few more features here. Google Earth opens up. Pretty cool. So you get a few more features. You can you can tap click. You have your left and right click if you want to use those. You have your keyboard which also works very well here. So if you want to pay the $1.99 to get the other features that come with this, the touch mouse here, you can. It's kind of, you can use it for like presentations and stuff. And of course, like I said earlier, you don't have to have your iPod Touch sitting on your desk here. You can actually just pick it up in your hand, you know, use it like a remote control or however you want to use it. Use it from a distance. I haven't tested the range on this, but I'm assuming since it's Wi-Fi, it doesn't really matter as long as they're both under the same connection. So this has been a review of the 
Touch Mouse and the Air Mouse. Air Mouse again, a dollar ninety nine on the App Store. Touch Mouse is free. And if you guys like anything related to technology and gaming, then please check out my channel where I got a bunch of cool videos on there. Thanks for watching.